If you actually destroy people's past, it's, it's, there's, it's much easier to make them walk into the future that you're building for them because there's nothing to go back to. That's why the Taliban uh, always you know, destroy those uh, statues. Uh, they blew up those uh, Buddha, Buddhist, uh, whatever it was, Buddhist statues in Afghanistan. That's why ISIS completely trash all the archaeological sites in Syria to destroy the past so that the future they're building for you is, is the only one left. Uh, are we actually seriously advanced on something equally totalitarian here, Samantha? I can't agree with you more. I think that it's both morally and intellectually dishonest to airbrush out those figures of history that we view to be unpalatable to the modern ears. It 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 offend, it affects effectively erases them from the society that they helped to build. I couldn't agree more with Dominique as well on the issue of, of having, you know, imperialist descent or being viewed as a victim by by those who have no rights to call you as such. I'm a second generation immigrant of a, a mother who immigrated from a third world country. I'm in every way possible the product of British and American imperialism. But do I see myself as a victim? Absolutely not. And I refuse to be called such by white middle class students who have no idea what it means to be British today. I would say that Britain in the modern in the modern era is a beacon of tolerance and inclusivity. Otherwise, people like me wouldn't be able to have a voice and a platform in the way that I do. It's, it suggests that somehow it is progressive to erase our history. And yet if, for example, Lord Nelson, who is a figure that has received massive hate from, from the progressive cabal, if he had if he had shown Caradis at Trafalgar, we'd probably be speaking in French right now. Whereas <laughs> You know, figures like Napoleon are still are still hailed in France, uh. a megalomaniac dictator who reinstated slavery mm. and whose whom was hailed by Hitler. Mm. It seems that only Britain is viewed with a wholly negative uh, magnifying glass, while other societies are seemingly allowed to accept the brilliant bigots or the the complicated figures of of our past. Because let's be on, let's be clear, we're not saying that people like Churchill or Nelson were perfect, but they they did great things as well as, as negative mm. so why are we not allowed to celebrate yeah. that yeah